Hello mga kamaters! Welcome back ang mga math enthusiasts and resilient students. Kamusta ang ating pag-aaral? Quarter 2 na tayo. Week 2 ng pag-aaral ng ating math. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification para updated kayo sa mga video lessons ko in learning Mathematics 6. Our topic for today is about concept of ratio and proportion and different types of proportion still your teacher Sergioni Olorbida of Kapalaran Elementary School. Let us first have a short review. Review time, let us see. It is a comparison of two quantities which can be written in colon, word, or fraction form. What it is? And you are correct. That is ratio. How about this? It is a comparison of two quantities but maybe have different units of measures and the ratio has a unit of measure and it is the rate yes rate what is the simplest form of 800 centimeter to 1 meter what is the simplest form 8 is to 100 remember 1 meter is equals to 100 centimeters so if we are going to Write the ratio 800 is to 100. Then cancel the two zeros. Ang natira ay 8 is to 1. A car drives 180 kilometer in 4 hours. What is the rate of its travel? Again, what is the rate? 45 kilometer per hour. So that is 180 divided by Four to get forty five, so four, sixteen, and twenty, and the answer is five, so forty five kilometer per hour. Good job, kids. Last, what is the missing term in this proportion? Three fourths is equals to n is to twenty, and the answer is fifteen. Very good because. 3 times 20 is 60, and 60 divided by 4 is 15. So that when we cross multiply 4 times 15, the answer is 60. Good job, kids! Let us start. Is 4 is to 5 and 8 is to 10 equal? Yes or no? And yes. Why? Why did we say that 4 is to 5 and 8 is to 10 is equal? Let us write it into fraction. 4 is to 5 is equal to 8 is to 10. As you can see, 4 pips is the lowest term of 8, 10. So let us cross multiply. 4 times 10 is 40. And 5 times 8 is 40. So they are equal. So, for the ratio, we are going to write 4 is to 5 is equal to 8 is to 10. 5 times 8 is 40. And 4 times 10 is also 40. So, they are called Proportion. And what is proportion? Proportion. When two ratios are equal, they form a proportion. Proportion is a statement of equality between two ratios. There are two terms in the proportion. The first term and the last term are called extremes, while the second and third term are called means. So here is the proportion. 4 is to 2 is equals to 8 is to 4. The middle terms, 2 and 8, is called means. And 4 and 4, the outer terms are called extremes. When we multiply the means and the extremes, the product is 
the same. 2 times 8, 16. 4 times 4 is 16. Meaning, 4 is to 2 and 8 is to 4 is proportion. Let's do it. Let us see if the two ratios are proportion. Proportion or not proportion? Comment your answer in our chat box. 3 is to 5 is equals to 4 is to 7. Is this proportion or not? Let us see. 5 times 4, that is the means, is equals to 20. Let us multiply the extremes. 3 times 7 is 20. One. So, this is not proportion. Very good, mga kamatters. Next, 2 is to 8 is equals to 10 is to 40. Let us again multiply the means. 8 times 10 is 80. And 2 times 40 is equals to 80. So, meaning, this is proportion. Okay. Ngayong alam na natin kung ano ang proportion at hindi proportion. Let us proceed with finding the missing term in the proportion. Let us find the missing term in this proportion. What is missing here? 1 is to 4 is equals to blank is to 32. So, this is the means. Ang nawawala natin ay means or nawala ang isang means. Then the extremes, 1 and 32. So let us multiply the extremes. Kompleto ang extremes. 1 times 32 is equals to 32. Then 32, to get the missing mean, 32 divided by 4. 32 divided by 4 is 8. So the missing means is... 8. So that if we are going to multiply the means, 4 times 8, the answer is 32. You get it? Very good. Let us find the missing term in this proportion. Blank is to 5 is equals to 10 is to 25. So the missing term is the extreme. Now, walang isa nating extreme. So let us multiply the means. 5 times 10 is 50. Very good. Then 50 divided by 25 is, okay, that is 2. So that if we multiply the extremes, 2 times 25, that is also equal to 50. Good job, kids. Clap, clap, clap naman sa mga batang yan. There are three types of proportion. They are Direct proportion, indirect or inverse proportion, and partitive proportion. So, kilalanin natin, alamin natin ang bawat isa. Let us begin with direct proportion. Two quantities are said to be directly proportional to each other. The ratio of their values is constant at any instant time. When one amount or quantity increases, another amount or quantity increases at the same rate. Let us take a look at this example. You went to Tai Tai Changge to buy shorts. The seller says that three items of short is for only 100 pesos. At this rate, how much will 12 items cost? Shout out sa ating Tai Tai Rizal, ang garment capital of the Philippines. Ayan. So, punta na sa Changge Tai Tai. So, let us go back to our problem. What is the first ratio? The first ratio is 3 is to 100. 3 shorts for 100 pesos is equal to 12 items or 12 short is equals to blank. We are looking for how much is the cost of 12 shorts. So, let us multiply the means. 12 times 100 is 
1,200 divided by 3. So, let us divide 1,200 divided by 3. 12 times divided by 3 is 4. 4 times 3 is 12. Then, dalawang zero na natira. Itaas na lang natin sila. So, how much is the cost of 12 items? Very good. That is... 400 pesos. So, you can solve that using that method. And another, you can solve that through listing method. So, let us list. 3 i how much? 100 pesos. Then, let us double the 3. 6, it will become how much? 200 pesos. Very good. And 9, it will become... 300 pesos. And kapag 4 na siya, ah, no, it's uh, 12 pieces, it will become 400 pesos. So as you can see, 3, 6, 9, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 100, 200, 300, and 400, you will come up with the same answer, 400 pesos. And that is one example of direct Proportion. Indirect or inverse proportion. Inverse proportion occurs when one value increases and the other decreases. For example, more workers on a job would reduce the time to complete the task. They are inversely proportional. And we are going to follow this. The old or original, new, New and old. Old new is equals to new old. Let us discuss the indirect proportion or inverse proportion through this example. Six people can finish painting a wall in two hours. If only three people are available, how many hours do they have to work to finish the job? So, In the first place, there are six people who can finish the job. So, six people. Then, the new people, three people are available. So, three na lamang. So, the first ratio is six is to three. Then, we are looking for the new time. And the old time is three. 2 hours. So, yung 6 people can do the work in 2 hours. And hanapin natin kung tatlo na lang sila. So, let us multiply the extremes. 6 times 2 is 12. And 12 divided by 4, ah, 3. 12 divided by 3 is 4. So, the answer is... 4 hours. So, 4 hours na lang. 4 hours gagawa. Nadagdagan kasi nabawasan yung taong gumagawa. Naging from 6, naging 3. So, yung 2 hours, naging 4 hours. Okay. Partitive proportion. In partitive proportion, a whole is divided into parts that is proportional to the given ratio. So, may isang buo na hinahati in a given ratio or fraction. This is an example. Two numbers are in the ratio of 5 is to 3. If the sum is 88, find the two numbers. So, ang whole number is 88, hinati natin sa ratio na 5 is to 3. 3. So, here is our ratio. 5 is 2, 3. So, in partitive proportion, we are going to add 5 and 3 to make it a whole. So, 5 plus 3 is 8. And what part yung una natin? So, 5, 8. Yung isa nating part. And another part is 3, 8. O, di ba? So, yung 88, yung 5, 8 is the bigger number. And 3 eighths is the smaller number. So, what is the two numbers? So, we are looking for 5 eighths of 88. So, yung 5 eighths of 
and 3 eighths of 88. So, 5 times 8. Pag nag-times tayo, ah, 88 pala, 5, ah, 88 times 5. What is the answer? 40, carry 4, 40, 400, 40. Then, this 440, i-divide natin sa denominator na 8. Pag di-divide natin sa 8, ang magigisagot natin is 5. Dito natin sulat 5. 5 times okay, 40. Then, another 40, bring down 0. So, 50. Five. So, this is the correct answer. 55 is the first number and the second number is 33. So, this is an example of partitive proportion. Hinati natin ang 88 sa ratio na 5 is to 3. Sa fraction na 5 eighths of 88 and 3 eighths of 88. Okay. Let us apply. MJ and Robic sell newspapers on weekends to earn extra money. For every three newspapers that MJ sells, Robic sells five. If MJ sold 15 newspapers, how many did Robic sell? What kind of proportion is this? Very good. This is direct proportion. And... What is the attitude or good traits of MJ and Robic? Okay, di ba? They are hardworking because they are using their weekends to earn extra money. Very good yan. So, let us solve this problem now. So, what will be our first ratio? For every three newspapers, ayan, three newspapers ni MJ, si Robic ay nakatitind naman ng Five. So, ito yung kay MJ. And this is for Robic. Is equal to, if MJ, so sa MJ din tayo dito, sold 15 newspaper, how many did Robic sell? Okay, so ito yung kay Robic. We are looking for Robic newspaper na nabenta niya. So, let us multiply the means. 5 times 15 is, what is the answer? Very good, 75. And 75 divided by 3. 75 divided by 3. 7 divided by 3 is 2. 2 times 3 is 6. And 7 minus 6 is 1. Bring down 5. 15 divided by 3 is 5. So, 5 times 3 is 15. So, how many newspapers did Robic sell? Very good. 25 newspapers. Okay, I hope you learned something new today. Ang ating proportion, the direct proportion, partitive proportion, and inverse proportion. See you next time, mga kamatters and mga matentusias and resilient students. Still your teacher, Sir Johnny Olorvida. Bye everyone and keep safe.